What's next for Cristiano Ronaldo? Well, well, well. That didn't turn out as he'd hoped, did it? What was supposed to be a heartwarming and glorious homecoming to Manchester United has instead spiraled into a calamitous controversy and a contract termination for Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo is out at Manchester United in a bitter end to his second spell with the Red Devils following his controversial decision to criticize the club ahead of the 2022 World Cup. The Portugal international sent shockwaves through the Old Trafford following his TV interview with Piers Morgan as the 37-year-old slammed the club's lack of ambition and openly claimed his lack of respect for head coach Eric Ten Hag. The interview was released as the World Cup break began, and just days later, United and Ronaldo announced a mutual separation with Ronaldo and Portugal camp preparing for the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. Ronaldo is now a free agent, and at the age of 37, he'll be putting himself in the shop window again as he seeks a fresh start in 2023. Now that his World Cup is over, there may be more noise surrounding his next move. In this video, we will take a look at Ronaldo's amazing career and discuss where his next destination can be. Share your thoughts about Ronaldo's future in the comments below. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. From an early age, Cristiano loved playing football. His talent, enthusiasm, and love for the game soon became apparent. By the age of 10, his talent was becoming so well-known in Portugal, he was signed by Nacional, a Portuguese side from Madeira. He later signed for Sporting Lipson, one of the biggest clubs in Portugal. His first international exposure came when representing Portugal in under-17s at the UEFA Championships. His performance caused him to be marked by leading European football managers. After the departure of David Beckham, Sir Alex Ferguson decided to buy the youngster for a fee of 12.24 million pounds. He started playing for Manchester in the 2003-2004 season. Despite initially asking for the number 28 shirt, Ferguson insisted that he wear the famous number 7 shirt. At Manchester United, his career steadily progressed. In the 2006-2007 season, Ronaldo was a key figure in Manchester's successful league campaign. Ronaldo scored over 20 goals as he won his first championship. In March of 2007, his prowess helped him to gain a record-breaking £120,000 a week five-year contract. He also won the PFA Player of the Year award. The 2007-2008 season was even better, with Cristiano Ronaldo being named the player of the tournament as Manchester United won the coveted Champions League trophy, the most prestigious club competition in the world. Sir Alex Ferguson said of Ronaldo, We've had some great players at this club in my 20 years, but he's up with the best. However, despite the success, Ronaldo expressed a desire to leave the club and move to Real Madrid. In 2009, Manchester United accepted an offer for £80 million from Real Madrid, making Ronaldo the most expensive player in the world. Despite intense pressure, Ronaldo thrived in the atmosphere at Real Madrid, reaching 100 La Liga goals in just three seasons. He went on to become Real Madrid's top goal scorer of all time and also La Liga's second highest goal scorer of all time, 311 goals from 292 appearances. At times, Real Madrid may have been overshadowed by their more successful rivals at Barcelona, who won more titles and competitions. With Ronaldo, Real Madrid have won the La Liga just twice, 2011 to 2012 and 2016 to 2017. However, he has guided Real Madrid to four UEFA championships in the league, 2013 to 2014, 2015 to 2016, 2016 to 2017, and 2017 to 2018. On July 10, 2018, Ronaldo was signed by Italian club Juventus for a 100 euro transfer fee, plus an additional 12 million euros in other fees. In his first season, he helped Juventus to another Series A title, and Ronaldo became the first player to win national titles in the three big leagues of England, Spain, and Italy. On the 27th of August 2021, Manchester United announced they had reached an agreement with Juventus to re-sign Ronaldo. The transfer was for an initial £12.85 million with a two-year contract plus an optional year. The announcement of his return was greeted with celebration by the United fanbase, and his second debut against Newcastle United also went to plan, scoring a brace in front of the Old Trafford faithful. But then, 
things started to go wrong. United began to lose, and lose hard. The final straw for manager Ula Gunnar Solkjaer came against Watford, where the team lost 4-1 and the Norwegian was sacked. In his place, Ralf Ragnick was appointed interim manager. Things did not improve, however. United had progressed to the Champions League knockout stages but crashed against Atletico Madrid and Ronaldo's goals began to dry up in the league, with the club falling out of the race to the top four. A final burst saw Ronaldo end on 18 goals for the season, only behind Mohamed Salah and Hyung Min Son in the goal-scoring charts, but it was too little, too late. United would not be in the Champions League for the 2022-2023 season. This is where the problems between the 37-year-old and the club began to bubble over. Throughout the summer, Ronaldo was consistently linked with a move away from Old Trafford. Chelsea, Atletico Madrid, Bayern Munich, and Real Madrid, just to name a few, had their names thrown in the mix, but nothing materialized, and some of the higher-ups at these clubs even went so far as to publicly deny the rumors linking them to the player. While this was happening, Ronaldo was missing from preseason due to his daughter's illness. The club accepted this reasoning, however, when he returned, he was not match fit and therefore could not start every game. This led him to getting limited minutes under new manager Eric Ten Hag, who had been appointed by the club and replaced Rangnick. Ronaldo would still get minutes for United, however, they would be inconsistent and it was clear that the player believed he should be a starter. This bubbled over in the game against Tottenham when Ronaldo refused to come out as a substitute late in the match and was filmed leaving the stadium before the end of the match. The Portuguese forward had filmed an interview with Piers Morgan where he sent shockwaves through Old Trafford. In said interview, Ronaldo took aim at his new manager, Ten Hag, saying that he didn't respect the Dutchman. He also took time to denounce his critics, namely Wayne Rooney and Gary Neville, while also criticizing the Glazier family. United were caught off guard by Ronaldo's comments and were disappointed. This led the club to ultimately deciding to terminate Ronaldo's contract by mutual consent. So what's next for Cristiano? Al Nasser Ronaldo decided to put his career on hold since he wanted to focus on his national team campaign during the 2022 Qatar World Cup, along with the likes of Bruno Fernandes, Joao Felix, and Bernardo Silvia. Many considered Portugal as one of the favorites to win the most prestigious tournament in football. However, Portugal crashed out in the semi-finals against the competition surprise, Morocco. After a controversial start of the seventh season with his club and an unsuccessful World Cup in Qatar, it was time for Ronaldo to decide the next step of his career. Although Ronaldo insisted that he was still capable of performing on the highest of levels, stating that different top Champions League clubs tried to sign him during the last summer transfer window, it turned out that there were no concrete offers coming from European clubs. Due to his age, high salary demands, and gradually decreasing performances, clubs like Bayern, Chelsea, Dortmund, and even Eintracht Frankfurt denied the rumors linking them with the Portuguese striker. However, Rumors about Ronaldo joining Al Nasser in Saudi Arabia started to spread, a deal that would make Cristiano the highest paid football player in history. Some found these rumors ridiculous as they were convinced that Ronaldo would still have another stunt in Europe before joining an inferior league. However, on December 30th, 2022, the world was stunned after it was revealed that Ronaldo officially signed for Al Nasser until 2025. This is only the football salary. However, including the commercial deals, Ronaldo's total salary will be close to $200 million, making it the biggest salary ever in football. Ronaldo commented on his move saying, I'm thrilled for a new experience in a different league and a different country. The vision that Al Nasser has is very inspiring. Al Nasser's squad already has some familiar names such as David Ospina, Luis Gustavo, Vincent Abubakar and Taliska, and are currently top of the Saudi Pro League with 26 points after 11 games. Ronaldo will not only bring more goals to his new club, but he will also shed light on the whole league and country as many of his loyal fans will support him and stick behind his back. Al Nasser's move to bring one of football's best ever is not only limited to sporting reasons. A move of this magnitude got the whole world talking and Qatar succeeding in hosting the 2022 World Cup 
Saudi Arabia's ambitions to host the 2030 World Cup must have certainly risen through the roof, making such a transfer worthy to bring attention to the whole world that the Gulf countries are still eager to enter football's history. Many would consider Ronaldo's move as a sad end to a glorious career, especially now that Messi succeeded to lift the World Cup after a long wait. So what do you think? Share your thoughts with us down in the comments below and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button.